Hello and welcome to a daily run. It's Judas. Judas is dangerous, we know this. Hopefully, oh. <laughs> Hopefully today we'll do a little bit better than we did yesterday. We did win yesterday, but our performance was substandard. Oh fuck. Don't die straight away. HP would be great right now. Probably a good time to use this, make sure we get through the room. Performance was mediocre, lackluster yesterday. Um, obviously, the run did start off as a fairly poor Eden start, uh, which is unfortunate. It caused us to be extremely slow. It means we didn't get to boss rush, which is our only option for points on this run, presuming that there is no... Oh, so many bombs. Um, presuming that there is no teleport beyond the mom fight, which is what we're doing. We're going as far as mom, which means we need to go fast enough to beat boss rush. We need to be strong enough to beat boss rush, and we also need to not die before we get there. Let's put a bomb here. We have got plenty and see if this is what could be a secret room. Turned out not to be. Here is a very timely half a heart. I'm not even going to fight that fight. Uh, pardon me. We obviously have Curse of the Maze, which <laughs> confuses the shit out of me ever so slightly. Very temporarily. We've got our HP back. This is the basement, not a room floor that you want to be taking damage on. But hopefully not a floor that we're going to be fighting the Horn from. Here's the Duke of Flies. So this should take basically no time at all. Not even a champion version. Standard version. Duke of Flies gosses out a bunch of flies like this. When it reaches critical mass, it spits them at you. I don't know if it reaches critical mass or if it just happens. Uh, plenty of HP upgrade is actually extremely helpful. I'm just going to leave. Uh, could have taken the Red Heart and then gone to the Curse Room and then taken the Eternal Heart and had more for this floor, etc. But all we need to do is continue to not take damage again. It is only the basement. There's no excuse for taking damage at this stage. Well, there's no excuse for me taking damage at this stage. I don't want to throw shade on anybody who is currently um, in the process of practicing their Isaac mad skills and has trouble even with the basement because every time you get better at the game and you find that the basement was actually easy all along, it's just that you didn't have the memory, the recognition of the patterns of the enemies, you didn't have the reaction time as soon as you walked into the room. Oh, what do we do here? What we do here is we see whether the floor randomly drops us a battery. It does. We can take the prayer card and use it twice, but it's not something I'd want to take long term. If it doesn't, we can use the prayer card right at the end, but if it doesn't, and we're going to wait till the end anyway, we might as well step on the spikes and take the zodiac. The reason we don't step on the spikes now and take the zodiac is it will cause us a full heart of red heart damage, which will compromise our deal with the devil, which is at present guaranteed. I wish I'd kept a bomb. Oh, get over here, dick. Um... We don't want to compromise that. Oh, there's a bomb. We want to be able to take a deal with the devil, so we will not be taking this in case it's a bad trip. We will not necessarily want to use our Book of the Lyle either, because if we keep that alive, ready for the boss, then we stand a better chance of not taking damage against said boss. So we're just going to keep it, keep it safe, keep it real, increase the peace. And... Just do our bit. So many troll bombs today. It's just starting to take the piss a little bit, I'll be honest. Uh, I would like a bomb. I would like a spirit heart. There is a spirit heart. I think that's more important at this stage. There's a chance that we get some cash from the boss. Maybe some bombs from the boss. It's Monstro. Uh, with a couple of these popcorn dudes. It's Monstro that mostly shoots at you, I think. Yeah. It's a large version of Monstro. Extra tanky. Oh, shit me. I think I got hit by the larger of the uh, shots there rather than the fly. Which is kind of annoying. I wanted to clear out the fly so I had the room to dodge around the shots. But I suppose now that we have the space, we've got much more time to dodge around the shots and much more space to do so. This is not going to be a problem. Uh, I did get hit <laughs> embarrassingly somewhat because I had so much space over here. Never mind. You get our deal with the devil. We do get our money as well. So we can buy the bomb. 
Pageant boy is not the best, but we'll see what we win here. Not Krampus, please. I think we can afford to take both of these. It is a little bit dangerous with one HP left. We're back in like pre the what's the name Judas, pre first floor Judas. We will take this bomb. We will apply this bomb down here where there is almost certainly a secret room. It's not going to hit that chest, I don't think, but the secret room may have bombs in it. It had a key in it. Well, it at least gets us into the item room on the next floor, and there is another key here, which is the shop on the next floor. I would have liked to have got into oh, look, one more, one more hail mary on this. Okay, that's hematomesis, and this is explosive diarrhea. Da -da -da -da. Speed, no speed down. Ow. That's pretty sucky. Don't like the speed down. We could have gone to the boss trap room. Probably should have. This is a daily run. We're trying to go for points. I don't care. I have decreed caring is not within me right now. That's two min maxi for now. Too much backtracking. We're going to keep going and it could compromise our ability to get to boss rush which is our only source of real points. I, I find it hard to imagine that the amount of cash, uh, the amount of currency, points currency that you get for doing the boss track room <laughs> is anywhere near the amount of currency you get for doing the boss rush. Keep away from these. We have got one red heart and one spirit heart. The longer we can spend not dying, not taking uh, any hits at all, the better off we'll be. Here's our boss already. I think it might be a good time to actually fight the boss. That spider did explode itself on the fire, which is super helpful. But we have got our Book of Belial charge ready. It is Pestilence. See if we can get Pestilence to shoot over here. Good job. All right, we'll pick that up when we can. Obviously, there's creep in the way at the moment. Despite my uh, my track record when it comes to creep, I'm going to endeavour not to step in it if entirely possible. I really hate this uh, particular form of pestilence, but at least it's not the form of pestilence on the flooded caves, which are uh, good shot. Not only um, does all these bullshit attacks, but also produces those blue drowned silkworms that everybody hates. Good, we did get an extra deal with the devil. Krampus. It is Krampus as well. Get, it means we can keep our Joker card with us. Man, feared Krampus is extremely unpredictable. Five cents is nice. Please. Whoa. Speed down. Oh, what? I was going to say the speed downgrade gives us a super sort of disbenefit in this situation. I'm going to have to pick this up because I don't know how much HP I've got left. Oh, what are you doing? Man, Gimpy is paying out like a beast right now, which is basically making up for all the mistakes I've ever made. We haven't taken any red heart damage, so that much is at least good. And we can get to our item room if we can find it. We've come out of that boss fight a lot stronger than we went into it. Fear shot really makes it difficult to have any idea what's happening in any respect. As soon as an enemy becomes feared, I just don't know where they're going. Which is kind of a positive and a negative. It keeps them away from you. That's only good for enemies that are charging you down or enemies that are going to shoot you from a distance. If it's an enemy that you actually want to be near you so that you can actually hit it. Very mobile enemies when feared are basically impossible. In this case, it might actually improve the enemy because they move erratically, randomly, if they're not afraid of you. But I think they move away from you if they are afraid of you. At least they seem to try to keep away from you while moving randomly, which is... On our situation, let's take this eternal heart. I'd like to get out of this room, this floor ASAP so that we can um, move on. Get our HP readout back. This is shit. A bomb would be great. This thing's going to explode. Hopefully close enough. Not close enough. So this should be a secret room. All I'm doing is looking for the item room now and then I'm quite happy to leave. Ball of Bandages is a great orbital. Very uh, offensive. Not in the uh, not in the social way, but of course in the damage dealing way. And we've taken well, I suppose we had dark matter from the previous floor, but it's really showing its colours right now because it means <laughs> everything keeps running away from us. It means we can't really use Cuban meat to do damage. I think that's probably in my best interest, because I'm kinda of bad at using Cuban meat to do damage. I tend to walk into the enemy rather than the alternative, which is to kill the enemy. 
Uh, hello. Thanks for being nearby. I'm not going to take Bob's rotten head as usual. Uh, it's Bob's brain. I'm not going to take Bob's brain as usual. Mostly because I don't like it and it tends to do me more damage than it does to the enemies. Or at least it does me as much damage as it does to enemies. That's a self-sacrifice room. It's very early to consider doing that. Finally found our item room. That was a bit risky as well. Uh, probably the last room on the floor. Oh, there's one more room on the floor that we can see. Which is probably the only other room left on the floor. So we have done the whole thing. This is a stage of the game where you would really like to start going a bit faster. Trying to get ahead of the boss rush curve. But apparently I can't line up my... <laughs> Why are you... Come the hell back. There we go. Apparently I can't hit them with my cube of meat. Oh, what a fucking bust. Seriously. We'll leave then. Um, Brother Bobby is pretty shit. Definitely wasn't worth the amount of time it took us to get to Brother Bobby. We're now at 10 minutes and only on Catacombs 1, which means we've got three floors to do in the next 10 minutes. Which is going to be harder because the next three floors are going to be longer than the previous three floors. Great. So we need to go fast. We might as well go in here. We don't have anything that can help us skip the floor, really, which is kind of unfortunate. Normally we'd maybe want to find something like an Emperor card just to expedite this process. We should probably be using this more often. Uh, this is dangerous, because when these things stop being feared, they are then nearby you. They stop following you, and they can charge you from all angles, which is worse than when they're not doing that. Okay, that was a dead end. Good to find a dead end quickly, rather than traverse the entire floor before you find that it didn't have a boss at the end of it. There's our second key for both of the important rooms on this floor. These things at least you don't have to wait to pop up. Seriously. Pop up anyway. There we go. In fact, you kind of want them not to pop up because they're going to shoot you when they do. Guess we head this way, hoping for a speed upgrade to undo the effects of the speed downgrade pill that we took. Again, taking pills is somewhat contraindicated by common wisdom and because I don't have any common wisdom or indeed common sense I take pills willy-nilly without cause for regard for my health or anyone else's that was a very risky position to be in but it paid off let's use keep a meat there for once and we're done with this room which was extremely quick that room can cause issues uh, probably want to start as mentioned using the Book of Belial, if nothing else, to get through the rooms a bit faster so that we can head down to the next floor that, that much more quickly. I'll take Leo. Try not to stand on any bomb rocks or... Ooh, blank card Joker. I think that's probably worth it. We can't afford the blank card. <gasps> what do we do? Try to afford the blank card later, I guess. Try not to stand on any bomb rocks or any mushrooms, the basically. The Hanged Man allows us to get the other card. Which is the stars, which we don't really need. We'll keep the Joker card. It will basically get us into a free deal with the devil on the first floor that we don't get one. Or get us... Uh, I was going to say get us out of a room that we don't want to be in. but I think the value of it as a deal with the devil getter is greater than the value of it as a room quitter. Whew. Being a little bit risky with these bozos as well. We are super slow now that we've taken Leo, but I kind of think it was worth doing, nevertheless. Now, here's our boss, so that's good. We found all the important rooms, so we can leave whenever we want. And we basically killed this room the hard way. That's okay. Kind of don't want to use Cuban meat, well, ball of bandages to beat Gurdy here, but it is very tempting to try does do a decent amount of damage. Ooh, we're too slow to dodge that, so it's probably a bad idea to use Cuban Meat. Unless we can do something like that, and then get out of the way again. We're done here, which is actually really good. Gurdy is an extremely tanky enemy. No deal with the devil, so we'll take our Rotten Meat and we'll pick this up. We get Rotten Baby, which is kind of decent. It's a good just general DPS upgrade. A homing one as well. Uh, and it, of course, scales with our damage, so happy with that. Spent the HP we got from the boss and got ourselves a little bit stronger to make up for it. And that Curse of the Lost is not brilliant, but at least we can 
not do this. <laughs> I was going to say, we can get some points for a mob trap room, but there were no points to be had. It seems like a secret room. Secret room contains fire and more bombs. I don't really want to skip any of the floor because we don't know the layout. But we do want to go as fast as we possibly can. Which is not really that fast, literally, because we can't walk very fast. We've got two keys now, though. So we can do the important things here. And those random shots. It's hard to not be salty about it. Let's take Tiny Planet for the ships. Now we have to shoot backwards. <laughs> I thought our tears would go up a little bit faster than this, but never mind. Right, we have a Book of Belial that we should be using way more often. Yeah, I don't want to shortcut this floor because we may end up somewhere where we don't want to be and then we have to work our way back and figure out where we are. We just need to get through the floor with as few unnecessary rooms as possible. That's our only option. Speed down is not going to help us. This pill is relaxed which is also not really going to help us but at least at least being stompy allows us to pop the boots real quick. This run doesn't really have much going for it. I mean, Tiny Planet is an interesting item. It's kind of fun. But it doesn't help. You know, it's not a great item. It's not a, a run winner. It's just a crowd entertainer. It's a crowd pleaser, right? And um, I quite like it just for shits. Just for <laughs> having something. It's a challenge item, really. It is a tiers upgrade, and the tiers do last on. Like, in the world for quite a long time, so. Wow, okay. I mean, it gives you a strong chance to actually hit enemies, except for when, of course, it doesn't, because you still don't have the range for it. Like, normally you'd expect Tiny Planet to have such a huge range that it covers the room, but in that case, we weren't actually hitting uh, uh, Greed from anywhere, which meant that Greed had a good shot on us and we got hit. So, not my finest hour, I suppose. We'll move on. Uh, where is this damn boss, and why are we so fucking slow? We haven't got any keys, so we can't even open that. I guess we pop some of these, see what we can get out of them. Not a lot. It's kind of difficult to work with Tiny Planet. A, when things are walking away from you because they're scared of you. And B, when you're so slow that you can't, you can't really control your own tears. You can't decide where they go. Both in a small room. Should be okay because of our... Tiny Planet. This is one of the places Tiny Planet really excels, is that it covers so much ground. You don't have to be in any of the awkward positions that you would otherwise have to be in. Uh, we will take nine lives, by all means, and then we will leave because we've got everything we want on this floor. Gives us a little bit of extra time. I'd probably like to be a bit faster than we are being. Curse the Unknown. I've got enough to do this, I'm pretty sure. Alice's Rune is not the Awas Rune that we need to continue the run past this floor. Not honestly sure whether we can find such a thing. If it does exist, we may well have missed it. Uh, an Awas rune or... Well, I think we've got all our deals with the devil so far. I should remember that we have the callus, so we can walk over spikes. I didn't mention it at the time, and then I sort of forgot about it. It's the other good thing... It was the one good thing we got out of the room that had Bob's brain in it, which I quickly mentioned that we would not be taking. No keys, of course. Uh... Was Bob's oh, that's very tempting. If we can get out of boss, we will definitely be doing this. No, leave me alone. So we should probably look for a thing that gets us out of boss. Room, which is going to be a teleport card, which is going to come from a skull or the shop. However, uh, we might have a secret room here. We do so we can get into super grief fight, but also the item room for free as well because it's a super grief fight we don't have to spend the extra bomb on opening the other wall here. this is the moon that gets us out so we are sorted uh don't want this but it gives us some bombs so now we have to make it uh which is looking somewhat unlikely mostly because our actually all actual ability to hit enemies and therefore to kill them quickly uh is causing us problems we have to go quite a long way to find Mom, and then we have to beat Mom. So we're going to be looking to steamroll these rooms as quickly as we possibly can. And this is not helping. Good. 
Now the trick to the tiny planet is to fire away from the enemies. Because there's a point of sort of convergence of your tiers just above or just behind your head. We are so slow we can't get out of this room. Great. So there's a point of convergence of your tiers just behind you. Which is the most effective place. And then there's a sort of another one behind that. So they cross over in a line going backwards from where you are. Don't know my HP, not gonna worry about it. We'll deal with that when we've beaten Boss Rush. Use the moon cards to get out of Boss Rush, or well, out of the mom fight at the end of it. Uh, and use the self sacrifice room, which could kill us because we don't know how much HP we've got. Especially after Boss Rush, which could do a lot of damage itself. We do have nine lives. But. Where's my, uh, where's my amazing Cuban meat damage? Though? Bandages. Whatever. Oop, that was a bit risky. It's so slow. Walking around. Dodging is difficult because we have such low literal speed. No deal with the devil here. We might as well take this and try not to pick up that by accident, which we have done in the past. Let's bug brain again. This is all shit. Um I wonder what tiny planet with my reflection is like. Let's find out. We did um get our book of Balao actually be charged. I didn't realise it would do that. And this could be to make difference right here. They seem to sort of stop and then hang around and then come back, which is extremely strange, I have to be honest. You have probably made some poops. Oh, this seems like a champion boss rush actually, so this is not making poops. Yeah, it's making hearts. It actually makes carrying queen an extremely easy enemy. For once the champion version. Well, not for once, but it's one of those situations where the champion version is extremely easy compared to the just plain version. The actual, uh, I suppose, what's a, what's a non-champion version? The mundane version? Lane version? Sucky version? User version? I do see you there, bloke. Uh, I would prefer it if you stayed away, but I guess I can't tell you what to do. What hit me there? Probably a uh, fly or something? Really couldn't tell you. Then how much HP we've got is becoming a problem because, well, it's an important thing to know if you're gonna. Let's just assume we have enough. Call it a lost one, right? That's helpful. What's our other enemy here? This one's going to be spawning a lot. So we'll try and get rid of war first. If we can get rid of war first, is if I can hit. The enemy at fucking top. This is a problem with um, dark matter here is that because the enemies are running away from us, we're so slow as are our shots, which are getting pretty huge as they spend time on the screen, but even so. Whenever the enemy becomes feared of us, we just can't hit it. Oh shit me. Simply because we can't catch up. Our shots cannot catch up with the enemy. Now, this unit, there we go. I keep saying unit, I've been playing too much Darkest Dungeon. Um, this enemy. It's more. Uh, some enemies are just trivial when they're here, so I guess it's. You know, it's got. It's a two sided sword, that's for sure. Like this one. Is exactly the same, I'm pretty sure. This one will run away from us and stop charging us down, as will this one. Well. Things like. I feel like I got them. Um, <laughs> Anti-grab tears. I keep letting go of the button to try and make them actually go. We haven't. Guess here will jump, but not jump on us, and not jump far. When feared. Presumably this one would just run away from us, but still try to keep shooting us. Yeah. Don't know what um, this loser does when feared. You can make sure this one doesn't spawn any spiders. Charge me. I dare you. All that. Certain enemies um, just simply stop when they're afraid, and that is quite literally the best thing ever, because you just mow them down. We're doing quite well here. Let's not pretend that we're doing badly. Something hit me there. Probably a shot from here. Monster 2 is happening. I had not realised Monster 2 was happening, and I could not see the shots that Monster 2 produced through my own you know, maelstrom of floaty death. Such is, such is life. We're going to try not to get hit by the cross tiers from those uh, flies when they die as well. 
This is another one that just doesn't charge us when it's feared. But it does still shoot us, so that's fine. Oh, hello. I thought I killed one of those three, which is why I was not paying attention to the gurkey. Oh, shit me. I got stuck on the pedestal that I got my item from. I know that's no excuse. Uh, I didn't intend it to be an excuse, just more an explanation of why I appeared to stand in front of the shop. Basically, I stood in front of the shop. It is what it is. Death is causing us issues. And now we are... <laughs> We're at the stage where every hit is death. Yep, we died. We have one HP now. Um, what do we do about that? We now cannot play the self-sacrifice room. Because it does a full heart of damage. That was extremely difficult. Uh, and I don't feel considerably embarrassed by the fact that it was such a difficult... Like, everything went so wrong. We can play it. Okay, we've got nine lives. We've got eight lives. Play it seven times. Maybe we should. Now, I don't feel hugely embarrassed because we were going so slowly and the <laughs> items I picked up turned out to have been a considerable challenge. Just to, like, do anything with. Hitting enemies is quite hard. What do we want to use here? Algiers, maybe? Our speed is terrible. BFS kind of helps. Um, I have a small idea. This could work and go horribly wrong, but we will at least get points for trying. And what I'm going to do... I'm going to come up here. This will take some time because we're so slow. I shouldn't have taken Leo, really, after we have taken that speed downgrade. It's kind of hard to resist doing so. Because the crushy effect on rocks is really handy. You can pick up spirit hearts. Oh, apparently we can't use this if we've got the callus. Keep allergies, though. One. Two. We've got seven. Three. Four. Five. I don't think we've got enough um, lives to do this. Six. Because normally you get a shitload of spirit hearts. Or you expect to get a shitload of spirit hearts. But like we haven't got enough HP to use half a heart. Seven. There's a spirit heart. Then it's our last life, I think. Yes, right. Unfortunately, we didn't get any spirit hearts, but what I'm going to do now is go back to the shop, buy the spirit heart. Bear with me. If we buy the spirit heart, it gives us one more play. Oh, I haven't got the callus anymore. <laughs> what we do is we walk on spikes that we think we can walk over and fail to. 2,000th is a really, really poor score, which means some people did manage to play that. Which means I probably didn't take the stupid selection of items I did, but it was entertaining at least for me, and I hope it was entertaining for you. And if you think it was, then why don't you come back for the next episode and see if that is equally entertaining. If it wasn't, why don't you come back for the next episode and see if it is at all entertaining. But in either case, thank you for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.